Hi, welcome to Free Fiddle Lessons. Today we're going to learn an Irish tune called Tom Ward's Downfall. It's a reel in the key of G. So there's Tom Ward's. Um, it's also known as the Morn Mountains. And um, I'm going to use teach this tune with um, rolls embedded in it, which I don't always do. Um, but we're going to do it today. So that's the first phrase. So we have a roll, a G roll there, and um, we're going to use G rolls and D rolls, so only third finger rolls uh, in this tune. Second phrase, pick up notes. So, uh, pick up notes. Let's just do that much again. And then we have the next roll. And some G arpeggio. Whole second phrase. And if you're mystified by the rolls, check out the rolls video um, because uh, that will go, go through all the steps. So let's play now from the beginning of the A part. I will say also that if the rolls are giving you trouble, um, you can play either with a, a longer G note there. Though that doesn't actually sound that great to me. I would prefer playing three G's in a row, three short eighth note length G's. I guess there are four of them, because <laughs> there's one of the, in the uh, next little section. And you can do that as separate bows, like I just did, or 
with a flick and a and a wiggle, a note below. Same thing here. You could play a long note or three separate bows. Either way, um, the third phrase is going to be, as so often, the same as the first. But we'll start without pickup notes because we've used up all our space. Oh, and I added pickup notes in there. Uh, so you can hear it goes right into the ending. So there's the ending. Um, the only part that's different is that, and then we can go right into either the A part again or into the B part. Let's play the whole ending, starting on. Uh, we'll start with pickup notes right before the D. And you really want to play another G, so I'm going to. Uh, whole A part now from the beginning. I'll just play one time through the A part and then we'll work on the B part. part we don't play that second G. We play the pickup notes of the B part. So that's the first phrase of the B part. Starts on B. So I'm using flicks to separate those double notes. I use separate bows, but very often I use that flick, and often when I use a separate bow, I also play a flick um, to mimic that sound. Second phrase with the B part. Triple A. Oops, from the high G. And this actually gives you the whole B part, excuse me, the B part is really the same thing repeated four times. I've written it out um, in the sheet music. I've written it out with, you know, I've written the same thing out twice and then the repeat sign um, just to make it less confusing. But really we're playing what we just learned four times altogether. So we can go right and play that B part. whole tune but I'm gonna do it uh, on another video slice okay we're gonna play the whole tune now um, for Tom Ward's downfall um, but I also wanted to point out that um, because that B part is so repetitive I very frequently 
um, will do a lot of variation as I play that tune. And I did some of that in my initial run-throughs of the tune. Um, I might leave some notes out, make some notes longer. Um, I might add little double stops. I might, yeah, do a variety of things just slightly differently to add variety. So here we go. We'll go through the whole tune, A-A-B-B. -B. 